Miners are required by law to reclaim lands which have been mined out. This is done by refilling the mining pits, planting trees and reopening waterways which will have been blocked to make the land usable again. But miners are failing to comply with the law, leaving the bulk of the work for the Ghana Geology Mines Commission. Carlos Todd, who has responsibility for the environmental division of the GGMC, explained that the miners are required to lodge $100,000, which is used by the GGMC, to rectify the mined out land if the miners themselves fail to do so. But the GGMC has found that the $100,000 is insufficient as it is costly to reclaim the lands. But we know that the bond is not enough at the moment and there, there are studies being done to come up with some suitable figure what should be lodged as the, as the environmental or reclamation bond. He was addressing the first in a series of stakeholder engagements which began on Tuesday at the Hardmanston Lodge, Queenston, Georgetown. Commissioner of the GGMC, Newell Dennison, pointed out that the environmental and economic benefits of refilling the land outweigh the cost associated. The long-term value will outlast by far the short-sighted resistance to the cause for a healthier landscape. We all together need to minimize and mitigate impacts on the environment from mining and invest in the potential after mining value chain. The GGMC officials said the agency has had to spend huge sums of money to reclaim over 44 acres of land. The agency's land reclamation program is being undertaken in accordance with the government's Green State Development Strategy. Bibi Katun, reporting for the newsroom.